Welcome back everybody. Something a little different this time. Um, in light of the um, coronavirus etc etc. I don't need to tell anybody about it. Um, the sailing club has now opened however the restrictions are pretty severe as to when and how you can sail. Um, there's been no official racing so it's been a socially distant social gathering I suppose you could put it that way. Anyway, so something a little different this time. I thought I'd show you my other um, hobby. Probably the wrong word. Um, probably goes a bit deeper than that, actually. I've um, always had this fascination for motorcycles. So um, at great expense, not necessarily for the bike, but because I needed all the kit as well. The helmet, leathers, boots, gloves. Um, so I purchased myself a near classic. Nice. Where was I? I purchased myself a near classic Triumph motorcycle. Um, in its day, I suppose it was deemed a super bike, and it was bought out roughly the same time as the original R1s and the Honda Fireblades, although it, it couldn't really compete with them. However, it's, um, I'll tell you what it is, it's the Triumph T595, so it's a 955cc, so just under the litre, it's a three-cylinder inline, um, single-sided swinging arm. So without further ado, let's have a look at the bike. We've done less than 150 miles on this bike and I hope you can see this because of the sun, morning sun. I've noticed, if I can find it, there's a few little cuts but there's the bad boy. I hope you can see that. I can almost get my nail in there and it's right across I don't know if it's a cut, as in something I've rode over. It doesn't look like it, and I've spoken to a few people and showed them a photograph of it. And they all seem to come up with the same answer, that it looks like a, a fault in the tyre, a delamination. Something along them lines. Anyway. It's a nice day. I'm going to get on the bike in a moment. And we're going to go for a short ride and get some new rubber on it, front and back. There we go, lovely new rubber. Let me see that. I opted for the Bridgestone S21s. Which was the best tyre of a couple of years ago. It's not the latest tyre. But it was the one that suited the bike after doing a fair amount of homework on tyres, which is a bit of a bit of a minefield. Okay, so here we go, the Triumph T595. As you can see it's in pretty good shape for its years. 20 years old and showing, I don't know if you can see it there, but it's 
29,700 miles. It's got an aftermarket seat, so I think it's what they regard as a comfort seat. And single sided swinging arm, as I mentioned before. And a very rare thing for a bike of this age is the fact that it's pretty unmolested. It hasn't been upgraded, it's standard as the day it came out of the factory. I was told by the dealership that the motorcycle had been serviced. However, just be aware that that doesn't mean to say it has been serviced. The coolant was not looking very good at all, so that was changed.